What we're gonna do to start this Chaco Pudino is I'm gonna start the dry ingredients off the heat right there. Okay. If you could just warm, that's our milk and mm. our heavy cream. Cream, right. So we've got cocoa powder right here. Yeah. We've got that. Mm -hmm. So we've got cocoa powder in here and then we've got our sugar. Yeah. And then we're also gonna put our cornstarch in mm -hmm. there as well too. The cornstarch is gonna be our thickener, our thickener for this. Yeah. So we got cornstarch in here, and I even take our uh, vanilla okay. at the same time. And put it in? Give it a good, Ooh, solid, yeah. you've got a teaspoon and a half at least. Mm. You could probably use a vanilla bean if you wanted to too, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And so while this is warm here, yeah. what I'm doing is just starting to whisk these dry ingredients right. and a little bit of that vanilla together. Yeah. And I've got some boiling water, okay. water just off the boil on the other side. Mm -hmm. So the way that this thing starts, we start it in the pan that it's going to finish cooking. But in this as is well off too. the heat right now. You got yeah. it. No heat right now, but yeah. we keep it close because a lot of these things need heat yes. as well yeah. too. Okay. So if you could want, if you want to, you could take it to the counter if you like. But yeah. so we're just going to add boiling water, little bits at a time. And so what we're trying to do right here is just make a really nice paste. Hey, thanks for the assist on that. Yeah. We're trying to make a really nice paste. Mm. And Look. so you want it to be that kind of like a- Chocolate sauce. You got it. Yeah. Nice and, nice and sticky, but yeah. you also want to make sure that we get to the edges as well too, so that mm. you don't have any dry ingredients, especially because some of the dry ingredients could be that cornstarch that right. we need. Which to is, could be lumpy. But one of the things you could do with cornstarch, if you put it in a mixture like this, is run it through a, a fine sieve first. You got it. And that'll get the lumps out. All right, that's looking good. The, I think the milk and cream is starting to get warm. Now, do you want it real, real hot? Right just underneath the boil, right? You got it. Okay. And then we can stop that right now. And what the next, the next step that we've got to this, so we've got this, uh, the chocolate paste here. Yeah. And then we're gonna add our eggs. We've got okay. six egg yolks. Okay. We're gonna just kind of try to add them as close to one, one at a time as right. we can and just stir them in there. Yeah. Again, no heat yet on this. So we're safe here. And so we're just adding our Otherwise, eggs. Otherwise, if we had heat under there, we would be scrambling those egg yolks. That'd be the most interesting yeah. scrambled eggs I can think of. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna start to give this a really nice whisk. Mm -hmm. We've got all those eggs incorporated. Right, so it's now, nice and smooth. You got it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add in this. The milk. You got it, milk and cream. Okay. We want to do it in three different batches because right. again we Let's take it off see. the heat right there mm -hmm. and then um, we want to avoid is curdling these eggs. So I'm going to give you like a third. That sounds perfect. Okay. Perfect. And you just want to kind of keep things moving yeah. right now. Yeah. And so the end stage of this, so you've started with the chocolate paste, then you've added the eggs, now you're going to add the cream and the milk. And so you're going to want to get to the consistency of like hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Sounds good And with good all that me. cocoa butter in there it really does kind of smell yeah. like it too. Yeah. We want it kind of uh, close to a boil. So okay. for cornstarch to yeah. start its reaction, yeah. we need it to boil. Okay. And so we're gonna get it right up there. I'm gonna let it go for 10 minutes yeah. and we'll come back to it. Okay. All right, so we wanna just put them right into the either the glass jar or whatever you wanna serve them in yeah. right away because it's gonna start setting right, right. away. And do you have to cover them because they could get a little skin on top of them? You got it. So what yeah. we're going to let them do is just cool just cool and come down to temperature. Uh -huh. And then we'll cover them and just tuck them in the fridge. Ugh. And like we said before, these can be done a day, two a day yeah. in advance. You know, we could add some additional flavoring to this, like a little bit of amaretto maybe. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> You know what I would do? I would have an Aperol spritz while I'm adding the amaretto. All right, now that, a, that's a little bit more dangerous, yeah. But mm, that's we an like idea. We like to live on the edge once in a while, don't we? <laughs> yes. Um, All right. So once we cover these, another cool thing that you can also do if you're having people over doing a dinner party or that kind of scenario is mm -hmm. that you can use like a little jam jar. Yes. Cover these guys, put a top on them. Like I said, keep them in the fridge for a few Cute. days. Cute, and then you could just put a little pipe of uh, whipped cream over the top. Perfect. Excellent. I'm ready to eat, are you? I'm ready to eat.